The United States Secretary of State put an order out to arrest us, but they were never able to catch up to us until in the end when we went ahead and gave ourselves up when it was over. Al and Sam, along with their top mechanics, Ray Selk and William Sassnow, spent two nights in the Los Angeles jail. The legal department of the U.S. government were asking for a seven or eight year sentence for me for what I did. They'd talk about the fellows being at the Hotel Stalingrad in Czechoslovakia and tried to make it look like they were communists or whatnot, you know, any, anything that they could throw around. So the sentencing came down and they were convicted felons and they had a $10,000 fine each to pay, which the Jewish agency took care of. But what it meant was once you're a felon, you can't vote, you can't carry a firearm, you can't do all these other things. So that left a bit of a mar on our silk, anyhow. The only time somebody went to jail was Charlie Winters, who was a non-Jew, who got stuck in Florida. Charlie Winters spent 18 months in prison for selling Al two B-17s. I lost my rights, my civil law rights in the United States. But I could only get them back if I made a special appeal to the government and this and that. And I had to say I, I did the wrong thing and I admit I'm guilty. I refuse to say all that. 